साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओ 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 साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहे तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् Dear devotees, you are about to embark on the greatest journey of your life, a journey to the core of your inner being. Please, all in a low voice, follow the Omkar and let your mind reach a quietude of silence. All together, let us repeat the pranava. Please sit up straight. 
and in the quietness of your mind, hear the sound of your breathing. Breathe in and out. In. Out. Now, open your eyes and see the light in front of you. This is the light of a candle. Gaze intently at the light. Now, feel the light shining in the center of your forehead. Now half close your eyes and feel the light in the center of your forehead. Now, let that light come down, down your neck to the center of your chest. Imagine a flower, a lotus, opening petal by petal to receive the light. Now the light is resting on the lotus. The lotus disappears. Only the light remains. But it is no more the light of the candle. It is a round ball of formless light. It is a light of divinity within you. Feel this light now expand. And feel the light going down, down your body, into your legs up to your feet. Feel warmth as the light surges through your limbs. And make this mental vow, O Lord, my legs touched by the light of your divinity will always take me only to places of goodness. Feel the light surging upwards, up into your chest, around your shoulders, and down into your arms and fingers. Feel a warmth as this light surges through you. Make this mental vow, O Lord. My arms, touched by the light of your divinity, will only yearn to do what is good. Now feel the light surging upwards into your neck and into your face, into your head. And the light now shines in your eyes. Make a vow. My eyes must yearn to see only what is good. Feel the light now shining in your ears. My ears must yearn to hear only what is good. Feel the light now shining on your lips. My lips must yearn to only speak what is good. Now, feel this light now shining into your whole body. The light illumines the body. In your mind, repeat the words, the light is in me. Now feel the light expand. Expand and you are now sitting in a ball of light, in a cone of formless light. Let your mind say, the light is within me, I am in the light. Feel a thrill of this light and now feel this light expanding, expanding and filling this entire room with a divine glow. And let this light now go beyond this room, beyond and beyond spreading ever further to this whole country and beyond this country, beyond oceans and beyond nations, let this light flow ever outwards to encompass the whole world. Now, imagine yourself, not your physical body but an inner being within you, like a gigantic divine form sitting on the globe 
and the light of your divinity, the light of your love encompassing the whole world. Stay for a moment thrilled in that thought. Now bring into your mind's eye and send your light of love to all the creatures of the world, all the animals and insects, creatures that fly or crawl, all of them are God's creatures. Send your light of love now to those whom you dislike or whom you think dislike you. Send your love, send your light of love to them. The same Atma in you is also in them. Let them feel the radiance of your light. Let them feel the radiance of your love. Now, into your mind's eye, bring those you love, your spouse, children, relations, friends, whoever. Bathe them with the divine glow of your love. Feel oneness with the whole world. Feel at peace with yourself. And now, look inside you. Can you imagine? Do you see a ball of light within you? In this ball of light, bring in the form of the Ishta Deva the Divine Being that you love and worship. See this form smiling within you. See this Divine form raise His hands in blessing. You have shared your love with the world. Now, receive the blessing and darshan of the Divine, the Divine within. Stay for a moment in this thought that you and he are one. Yo, 
ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಸವಿತೂರೇಣ್ಯಂ ವರ್ಕೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯಧೀಮಿ ಧೀಯೋ 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 ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ
जय हरि बोल जय सीतारा गोपी गोपाल भजो राधेशा
Swami has his own unique ways to teach us. You know, it's not the, like the usual classroom atmosphere where the teacher lectures and the student listens. Swami is the most innovative teacher in the world. And uh, the way he teaches us, if he kind of gives us once that experience, it's enough for a lifetime. You know, that is how perfect a teacher he is. I remember, uh, you know, the sports and cultural meet is always a wonderful period for all the students. because. They get to give, offer all their talents to Bhagwan in different ways through the various competitions, both in terms of sports, also as in the, in the form of cultural events. And uh, the most exciting part those days was that Swami would uh, give prizes with his own hands. So every student would aspire to participate, excel in one form of cultural or sports activity, at least be a 12th man in a in a cricket team that would win, you know, so that they can receive this prize from Swami. And their only objective was that, that at the end, if they win at least one prize, for sure they will receive some gift from Bhagwan's own divine hands. And that was the objective with which we threw ourselves into sports and cultural activities. 
it was the year again 1999 uh, the sports meet of course happens in the month of january 11th so this was january 11th 2000 and uh, all of us had participated in various events the teachers got to know that bhagwan has planned to give gifts to each and every prize winner so they put in lot of efforts to ensure that almost all of us win some prize or the other by encouraging us to participate in as many events as possible and uh, fortunately many of us won some prizes and the d day had come uh, the 14th of january usually the sankranti day is when the prize distribution ceremony happens uh, and we were all seated in sai kulwant hall and bhagwan called one of the senior teachers to announce the name of the students who are the prize winners and swami would stand and give each one of them his beautiful special gift which was a watch you know with his own divine hands and in the front that is what we call in the kulwantal as the third block right now where the ganesh portico is or swami sannidhi is right in front of that uh, is called the third block behind that is the path which swami used to walk during darshan and behind that is what is called the fourth block uh, this is of course for the knowledge of the students because they have to maintain the discipline of uh, the seating arrangement for each festival so all the school boys were seated in the fourth block behind swami's path and all the college boys being being the senior students were uh, seated in the third block which is right in front of bhagwan so bhagwan started the prize distribution one by one names were being called starting with the university or the institute boys and each one were you know very happy to receive the prizes from bhagwan and when the last boy from the university got up and received the prize from bhagwan's hand swami suddenly gestured for the disco table and mic to be brought we were absolutely shocked because as school boys we were wondering when will we get this from swami swami is asking for uh, you know the disco table and mic so swami asked for the mic mic was placed in front of him and bhagwan began his discourse and we all slowly realized it dawned on us that swami is not going to give us the prizes and our only objective of participating in the sports and games were to please swami and receive the gifts from his divine hands and here was swami who denied us that opportunity that morning and we were all crying and crying we have no idea what went on in that discourse because we did not hear a single word of swami's discourse one we were very upset with him the other was that you know we were so deeply uh, what do you say uh, emotionally moved and crying that uh, we did not have any ear to listen to <laughs> swami's discourse the whole discourse went on for you know almost about an hour and it was an hour of torment for all of us literally and at the end of it you know uh, prasadam distribution happens bhajans were being sung and suddenly an announcement is made the announcement goes like this swami had asked one of the senior teachers to announce that swami has not denied but postponed the prize distribution ceremony for the school boys he knows that they are all feeling bad that they were not given the prizes in the morning session but the reason for that is they are seated so far away from swami in the fourth block in the morning session so in the evening swami wants all the school boys to sit in the third block right in front of him and swami will distribute prizes to all the school boys this announcement was made and you can imagine what joy each one would have been in. all the school boys were bursting with joy and you know that was how compassionate swami was his delays were never denials but he wanted to teach us a very important lesson that you know when god does something to us it is out of his immense compassion we cannot even match 1% of his compassion so we have no idea why he delays what he delays and his delays are definitely not denials so finally the evening came and all of us were seated right in front of bhagwan it was a beautiful experience and swami got up and you know he asked for the watches and personally he handed each one of us the watch with a beautiful smile on his face blessing one person or the other and that whole experience i can say 
was much more blissful than what would have happened otherwise if Swami would have given it in, in the morning. It became so special for all of us. And that is how much care Swami takes to make every moment with Him special. You know, for whoever is in front of Him. Humble salutations at the lotus feet of our beloved Bhagwan Sri Sathya Sai Baba. Jai Sai Ram to all of you. As announced last week, on Saturday, the 13th of February 2021, from 2 pm onwards, we will be conducting a Satyanarayan Mahapuja in Katha, which means we will read his story as well. This will be done in English. Last week I said that for the preparation method, I will announce this week. So hence I'm here in front of you uh, and it's already now uh, about how to prepare your altar in the comfort of your own home. It will be on our website. So the puja list and the method of preparation for the altar both are now on our website. Just a little reminder, uh, when you are preparing for the puja and buying the items, please do not go out specifically to get some items. If you don't have one or two things, you can still conduct the puja with love and with the right bhava of Samastaroka Sukhino Bhavantu. So this brings me to the purpose of this Katha, which is going to be conducted in unison by all of us for the welfare of humanity and for us to pray for humanity and thus serve the world from the comfort of our own homes. We don't need to go out in this lockdown, but we can still serve by performing this puja. So let us look forward uh, to this Katha and uh, once again the date and the time it's Saturday the 13th of February from 2 p.m. onwards and we will all offer this Katha at the Lotus Feet of our Lord with a law of love and bhava. Jai Sai Ram. Perform all acts with as much love as you would offer it, God. In truth you eat for the satisfaction of the I in you and dress up to please the self same I. The husband loves his wife for the sake of the I. And who is this I that is persistently inherent in everyone? It is God Himself. J. Siram.